Let's take a look at some action from Wood County. 0-2 Falcons hosting a 2-0 Buffalo squad on this chilly evening. Now Bowling Green was without five assistant coaches due to COVID-19 protocols and contact tracing. Most notably missing defensive coordinator Brian Van Gorder. Now Falcons trailed 7-0 early, driving on their first offensive chance. Matt McDonald hits Tyrone Roden on the for, for the first down. BG unable to find the end zone. They settle for a Nate Needhead field goal from 40 yards out, attempting to close the gap. Now down 7-3. Jarrett Patterson surpassed 3,000 career yards for the Bulls last week. He had another solid adding this evening. More on him later. He ran in the first score of the night, though the juniors not the only Buffalo threat on the ground. Kevin Marks Jr. tore it up for the visitors tonight as well. Gets the first down here, punches it in on the very next down, putting the Bulls up 14-3. Falcons. Struggling offensively in the first half. They turn over on downs. The ensuing Buffalo Drive Bulls go for it on fourth and one. Patterson keeps his feet driving, gets in for the score. Buffalo builds a 35-5 lead in the third. Patterson finished with 301 yards rushing with four touchdowns. South Sandusky native Jerrion Stewart impressed again for Bowling Green late in the game. In the fourth, Stewart scored twice, but it was too little too late. Bulls win it 42-17, improving to 3-0 on the season while the Falcons fall to 0-3.